early this month, I saw a tweet from President Biden bragging about how corporations are going to have to start to pay their fair share. It won't be their fair share, but they're going to they're going to have to pay a little bit more as the government, as part of the um, the IRA Act, is has instituted a fifteen percent minimum corporate tax and a one percent tax to companies that buy back their stocks. So what does all of that mean? And is it really necessary when we already have a 21% corporate tax rate? Well, apparently it is because there are companies that take advantage of loopholes in the tax code, loopholes that were put there by the people who wrote the tax code, which is the government. So His issue has to do with what's called book income versus taxable income for these corporations. So the income that companies report for IRS tax purposes, that's our taxable income, usually differs much more from their book income, which is what is reported to shareholders and the public. Companies use strategies like accelerated depreciation, tax credits, stock options, um, things like that to downplay the amount of profit in their reportings to the IRS so that they get to pay fewer taxes. Accelerated depreciation is one of the most significant breaks or loopholes in the U.S. tax code, and numerous companies use this as a tactic to try to save millions or even billions of dollars in taxes. Well, the reasoning behind this new minimum tax in the 2022 State of the Union address, President Biden cited a report by the Institute on Taxation and Economic Policy that found that 55, just 55, of the largest corporations in the United States paid zero dollars in federal tax on their 2020 profits, despite many of them earning considerable profits under GAAP reporting standards, which are uh, generally accepted accounting practices. The Joint Committee on Taxation estimated that it would raise $222 billion over 10 years. And even though the CRS said that relatively few corporations, only about 150 of them, would be subject to this minimum tax rate each year. Well, don't take that sigh of relief just yet, thinking that it will be just corporate America, the big fat cat, um, greedy Wall Street, that's going to have to be paying their fair share. Nope, it's not just those $1 billion corporations who will pay under Biden's uh, plans. Don't forget about the 87,000 new Gun packing IRS agents ready to dive into your tax return. Just kidding. I, I mean, not all of them will be carrying guns, but we, we reported on a story last year where there was actually a job posting for some of those new IRS agents, and they said that you must be willing to carry a gun. They quickly took it down, but it was there at least for a short time. So Scary what stuff. are they going to be <laughs> right? What are they going to be looking for? Well, they're going to be looking for tax thieves. Maybe we should give them a mirror. They will be looking for tax evaders, though, perhaps people who didn't report their income for the cash business that they do for selling goods or services and accept payments on Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal, or those that maybe didn't report their crypto gains, if they had any, (laughs) They probably certainly didn't have any last year, but in the years past, there are people that had significant gains in the crypto, and it was supposed to be reported as a capital gain. So in 2021, Congress passed a new law, ironically called the American Rescue Plan, that will help them to uncover people who sell goods and services for cash through those cash apps. Now, they have delayed it a little bit for 2023, but you were supposed to get a 1099K if you exceeded $600 in aggregate payments, regardless of the number of transactions that you paid. So now Venmo, Cash App, PayPal are going to be sending out 1099s to you. And when they send them to you, they also go to the IRS. So the IRS is going to be looking to see some type of offsetting expenses or they're going to expect you to report that as income. So regardless of the rhetoric where Biden says he's not going to raise taxes on anybody making under 400000 
Believe me, the Biden administration wants to be an equal opportunity tax bully. They want to collect the money from corporations and individuals because they, the government, knows better how to spend your money than you do.